Sing praise to our God, all you who fear God, both small and great. For now salvation and strength have come, and the power of his Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to this Mass. We pray for the birthday intentions of Pierre. A happy birthday to Pierre. May the good Lord continue to bless you. We pray and also we remember the departed soul of Father Ambrose Magnemi, who has served this parish and also various communities of the Discards Carmelites in UK for many years. Uh, he died this morning peacefully, so in Ireland, in Locre Abbey, where Father Christopher Clark is. He was in the community of Father Chris. So let's keep the soul of Father Ambrose Magnemi in our prayers for the happy repose of his soul. He was, uh, last year he celebrated his 100th birthday, so had a good life. Let us commend his soul to the mercy of God. And most of you know him personally. So pray for the soul of Father Ambrose. And recalling all of our sins, let us ask the Lord pardon and mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who opened wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing that in your kindness you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, you stubborn people with your pagan hearts and pagan ears, you are always resisting the Holy Spirit just as your ancestors used to do. Can you name a single prophet your ancestors never persecuted? In the past, they killed those who foretold the coming of the just one. And now you have become his betrayers, his murderers. You who had the law brought to you by, the, by angels are the very ones who have not kept it. They were infuriated when they heard this and ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at God's right hand. I can see heaven thrown open, he said, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. At this, all the members of the council shouted out and stopped their ears with their hands. Then they all rushed at him, sent him out of the city and stoned him. The witnesses put down their clothes at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning him, Stephen said in invocation, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and said aloud, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And with these words, he fell asleep. Saul entirely approved of the killing. The word of the Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be a rock of refuge for me, a mighty stronghold to save me, for you are my rock, my stronghold. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, Lord. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your love. 
Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your love. You hide those who trust in the shelter of your presence from the plotting of men. Alleluia. 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 I am the bread of life, says the Lord. He who comes to me will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never thirst. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The people said to Jesus, What sign will you give to show us that we should believe in you? What work will you do? Our fathers had manna to eat in the desert, as Scripture says. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus answered, I tell you most solemnly, it was not Moses who gave you bread from heaven. It is my Father who gives you the bread from heaven, the true bread. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, give us that bread always. Jesus answered, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, these days we are continuing our meditation on the Eucharistic discourse of St. John. The Gospel of St. John speaks beautifully about the Eucharistic discourses of our Lord and here Jesus is offering himself and the unending joy of having him in the Eucharist is a marvel. The church has been experiencing for centuries his everlasting presence in the Eucharist. We know those those of us who have experienced hunger and thirst how effective the physical food could be. Also, it's the same with supernatural hunger and thirst. When Jesus comes, he satisfies. He he gives us himself in the Eucharist. And let us continue to experience his presence, his everlasting love. So many of us have come this morning to taste and see how good Jesus is to all of us. And let us continue to marvel in that experience of having him in our hearts, in our conversations, in our relationships, that let there be everlasting joy and happiness. And that is what Father Ambrose was during his lifetime as a minister. He continued his ministry of proclaiming Christ, celebrating the masses for so many people. Even at his 100th birthday, he would come out and celebrate the Mass because he loved passionately the presence of Jesus and gave that presence to so many others. Through his letters, through his conversations, he consoled. And so many of us have been touched by his ministry. So let us continue to keep Father Ambrose in our prayers, and especially as a champion of Eucharist. He is still with us. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant Church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to load you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb, once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, Exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, 
Vincent, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially we remember Ambrose and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cure as to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, from every sickness, from fears, from anxieties, from wars. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we abide the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. On this day, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobi. On this day, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobi. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You should enter under my roof, but I will say the word, my soul shall be healed. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Oh, son.